Today we're checking out Thronefall. This is a tower defense city builder slash base builder with a pretty new and unique take. It is an action roguelike tower defense uh, with a mix of roguelike elements as well as some roguelite meta progression that, in my opinion, is pretty well balanced. Uh, playing as a horse-mounted knight, defending his kingdom, building the buildings. And here we go, we'll just plop down a few houses here to generate some uh, good old income. Uh, get some good ROI on our town. It's it's sort of that like Wall Street bet slash, uh, slash tower defense energy about it. Uh, I do like this game. I've been uh, playing it for the last few days, but... Honestly, from the second I turned it on, I, I knew it was going to be a very well-polished experience. It just feels very sharp, like a sharp cheese, you know, like a... And not like a mild cheddar, I'm talking like a Havarti, you know? Or, or rather, a sharp cheddar, perhaps. We'll stay in the realm of cheddar for now. <clears throat> Sorry, I just spent a lot of time at a cheesemonger the other day. Um, anyway, we will spawn the next wave, and I uh, have accidentally built the wrong buildings... Whatever, I will just use micromanagement in order to try to minimize the enemy's killing of me. So, you kind of have some power over the enemy's movement. Like, you can kind of draw them away from your buildings. I'm actually going to try to slow these guys down by getting them to fight me, just so that the buildings have fewer people going after them, and try to get them all in contact with my main base tower so that it's shooting arrows at them. There we go. Very nice, very nice. They might destroy one house. That just means that we won't generate income from the house for the night. That's actually all right, uh, because I like to be very cheap at the beginning of the game. You know, try to get as much money as possible before it all ends. Now, we didn't defend the entire realm, so that is going to slightly affect our score. Realm only 83. Oh, no, 83% protected. All right, so I, I shouldn't have been so cheap. I should have built a tower, so hey, hey how dare you? But there we go. Okay, plopping down a tower. And now we do have enough money for, I think, one more? No, that's a mill. Uh, that is... That is another economic construction. Uh, I guess I could have upgraded the main base tower, but let's build one more tower here. So these are going to fire arrows, uh, or whatever you have them fire. There's going to be two enemies coming from the top. These guys are rather aggressive, but since I have two towers, I think I'll spend my time tying up these knights over here. So... You get, like, a nice mix between the micro and the macro. I don't know if people really say macro management, but I think that it should be a word if micro management is a word, right? Shouldn't that be allowed? Yeah, I think it should be added to the rule book. But, uh, yeah, as you can see, some enemies just do a ton of damage. Uh, and I probably should have... No, actually, this tower will be fine. You really... You're, you're trying to get the enemies to fight your military buildings and, you know, come after, uh... And leave your houses alone, that is. All right, so I'm going to upgrade my base to level 2 because it's going to start to upgrade our houses. So you get some choices when you upgrade. Uh, we've got Royal Train. These do stay the same. Every uh, evening, a level 1 house is automatically upgraded to a level 2 house. I really like this one because it just... I don't know. Every night, we kind of... We get some returns on just, like, building houses. So that is kind of nice. Uh, we have only one gold left, though. So for right now, we just did an economic investment. But we have three waves, three waves of enemies coming here. I don't know if they're going to come in succession, so I'm just going to stand in. The, whoops, here we go. I'm just going to stand in the middle. Uh, anyway, the one thing that a lot of people are saying about this game, I guess, but even the devs are pretty open and acknowledging it. it's a little bit light on content right now. But I think it is the perfect place for it to be in early access because the experience itself has been designed and crafted, and it is good. People clearly like this game. It has great reviews. But, um, <clears throat> excuse me, uh, just, like, they didn't make tons of content for it, which I kind of think is what early access is for, and it, there's enough there right now, and enough challenges and other things, uh, I don't know why I'm sounding all defensive now, it's good! <laughs> I, I do like it, uh, but yeah, like, I, I did look at the amount of content, and it was kind of like the other year with, oh, say, for example, uh, Vampire Survivors, where... There wasn't really that much content, but it was one of the most interesting and uh, fresh experiences that I had played in a while. Also, very addicting. I don't know why it sounds like I'm just trying to say keywords about vampire survivors. <laughs> hey, gamers, ready to play this fresh new experience? Of, uh, I guess people aren't really searching fresh. But it is what it is. Uh, we've got some... Uh, 
mm, bad people coming up the middle here. Ooh, actually, four. Uh, I think it's time to build a gate. This is a rather difficult wave right here that I'm about to go up against. It's funny that I don't have an option to build a tower. Oh, I do have an option to build a tower there. I just didn't see it because of the wall and bad eyesight. Bad eyesight. Anyway, uh, here we go. These guys are very strong. Although they won't get past my gate, of course. <laughs> Hopefully. Hopefully. Uh, they can't get through the open gate. Thankfully, because that would be bad. Only I am able to get through the open gate. Man, my gate really has a lot of strength, doesn't it? Oh god, this wave is really awful. I would definitely be dead here if I hadn't built this gate. Thank goodness for this gate. Anyway, um, like I said, it may seem easy, but you can kind of ramp it up with the modifiers. I've got on one modifier for this mission, which makes enemies drop less gold, so I'm kind of depending on my economic structures. Normally I would be doing better in this mission, uh, but I've just kind of made it harder for myself. Because I'm just sort of a masochist. Alright, so we're upgrading these houses as we go. We really want to keep the focus on the economic buildings, but at the same time, uh, I think it's time to start building an army right here, because if you don't fully wipe out the wave, obviously you're in trouble. Okay, so we've got three gold left to spend. Um, hmm. We could get a mill, but the mills are very easily destroyed. I think we'll just go with more military buildings, or maybe... We've got a lot of enemies coming up the middle. You know, I could build this house, but it's what? Gonna give me one more gold. I think I'm just better off building another defensive tower in case if that can somehow shoot them from the side. Anyway, um... Yeah, like I said, I, I'm interested in seeing what new content is added to this game. And also, it seems very console-friendly, the control design set. Almost almost to a fault uh, in only one part where you can command your troops. Like, I could hold down control, bring a guy with me, and tell him, like, plop him down over here. For PC, it would be kind of nice if you could just click and drag and tell your men where to go. Because that is sort of a console RTS design set. Uh... The first place I really remember playing that, I don't know if it's been implemented in other places, but that was Halo Wars. Uh, which actually had a very good control set for a console, but a little bit of the PC gamer in me wants them to just kind of make it easier to command your guys. Uh, with like right clicking and left clicking. I think that would be very cool if that were added or if that is decided to be implemented. But right now, it does work. It does work. And it is cool. Um, here we are. Realm 100% protected. We're getting good score here. I... The other thing that, uh, it, it has a leaderboard, <laughs> which just shows you how bad you are in comparison to your friends. I was number five, uh, among my friends, but there were only five people ranked. But again, I had played it only once. <laughs> um, <coughs> excuse me. So we'll go ahead and put it in another house. Uh, we are going to be dealing with flying people in this mission and eh, what do we have here okay wind spirits we're building a mill but we have to choose its uh wait a second wait it gets an upgrade at level one? Oh, i stand corrected uh wind spirits wind spirits magically intercept a portion of enemy arrows in the range of the mill uh i'm not really so worried about arrows i'm just more worried about the economics of the situation okay we're gonna go ahead and build a, a mill right here a very cheap way to get a lot of money but, I guess I don't have enough money for that. Uh, I really should have built the mill elsewhere, but this enemy wave won't come after our mill anyway. I, I happen to know. We'll just plop down another one for tomorrow. There we go. God, I gotta stop, stop saying that. Plop down. I'm just gonna plop down my, my butt right here. No, what I should really say is I'm going to poop out a mill right here, because that's what... That's what we're really doing. Back when I was a kid, I thought that babies were pooped out. Like, I thought that's how you were born. I, I think up until I was like eight or ten, I thought that babies were pooped out. Uh, but unfortunately, well, I mean, it's debatable whether that would be like less painful. Probably. <laughs> Probably, sure. Uh, 
We'll save that for that debate for another day. Anyway, we'll go <laughs> we'll go ahead and continue our mills. We do have big waves of knights coming here, so I do want to start to get uh, our full army here. I do find that the units are more effective here than the um, uh, than the towers. I built a large army the last time, and it, it fared far better than uh, upgrading and building towers. I think if we go, we've got sixteen left. So if we do eight over here to double up our number of warriors in this spot. And if we do another eight over here, and I'm going to actually just command my troops here this time. I'm going to put my archers in the middle at the base just because I want them kind of in charge of everything. But these guys I'm going to bring over to, well, let's see, we have 10 and 10 there. These enemies have a lot of HP, uh, but there's also a lot of guys over here. You know, what if I just put four of you... Because these guys are great. Ah, man, only five came. See, this is where it would be really nice if we had full PC RTS-like controls. But uh, it does work for now. So they're a little slow. I'm going to move them over here. Though these enemies or these uh, units are very good. They like spin and fight the enemies around them. All right. And you guys stand up here. Uh, it'll be a little bit harder for these guys to hit enemies, but at least they will reinforce and move over in that direction. And then our archers will remain central. Uh, I guess I could put them by the mill, but I'm probably just going to lose the mill. And where am I going to stand? Uh, yeah, I'm a little bit more afraid of the guys coming up from over here, but... It is what it is. Yeah, see, like I said, this actually turns out to have not been such an amazing idea. All right, call it all off. Uh, this was a useless place to stand. Never mind. I'm just going to bring you all with me and stand anywhere you like. I don't care. Uh, and I am dead because I was not paying attention. Don't worry if you die. You will just be reincarnated. Uh, not in real life, obviously, but... Um, well, I don't know. Maybe. I don't really have all the information, but... Uh, <laughs> uh, how how uh, tangential this has been so far. But uh, yeah, like you do come back to life. I don't believe it. It may affect your score. I'm not actually 100% positive about that. I haven't looked into it. Generally, though, dying is not good, but there are some perks that give you like an insta revive or something like that. Uh, so I didn't do a very good job that night. Realm only 89% protected, but still not terrible. Uh, 42 11 is our total score here. Moving up in the world. We really want to focus on economy, like, aggressively, but only economy that we're capable of defending. So, these houses have been upgraded by our main base as time has gone on. Uh, but what is the next horizon? So, we can upgrade our buildings more after we upgrade our main base. Uh, I don't really want to expand out the fields until I have towers that can do something for them. If we upgrade our main base, though, it will also give us an expansion out here. I've played this mission already. It is, like, the first mission, but I'm just playing it a little bit harder now. We're going to have a lot of high damage enemies from the north, east, south, and west, and then some big boys over here. I think if I build out an expansion here, although I won't be able to pay for anything on it, I'm just going to be a little bit boring and upgrade all of my towers tonight. That way the towers stand a bit longer. Uh, but we should probably position our character by the giants who are encroaching from the south. Okay, so we have three towers. I will upgrade the fourth tower here. Hopefully they won't get through our defenses. Otherwise I will roar with frustration. Uh, and as for the placement of our people, actually our units are not very useful here. I'm just going to leave everyone at their house. All right. Now we die. Uh, and I'm going to fight the giants pretty much exclusively here. Now, there, are, like I said, there are different weapons that you can... I'm not sure if I said this. There are different weapons that you can wield with your character. Like, you could have a sword, you could have a spear, you could have a... Uh, you could have a, a violin, you could have a fork. Uh, I don't know about those last two, but... There is a good variety of items here, but I'm just going to use my micromanagement. Uh, to fight these giants. Ooh, no, no, stay away from that mill. Nothing to enjoy over there at that mill. If you do get enough troops, though, you can kind of tie up other troops and just make it into a little battle of armies rather than, uh, you know, like having, like a traditional tower defense in that sense. Kind of like, uh, what was that? Was it Kingdom Rush? It's probably in other games, too, though. I remember first encountering this in Kingdom Rush. 
I was quite the tower defense savant as a child. I mean, uh, sommelier, not savant. Wrong word. Uh, 96 protected. Uh, not too bad, not too bad. Now we've got 25 gold, though. We're really not getting any gold from beating enemies. That's my mutator in this run. Mutators, uh, obviously, mutators, are maybe somewhat obvious. You, mutators make the run harder. Uh, but they do raise your score. So we've got Royal Mastery or, uh... Uh, this is a toss-up. I really like both of these upgrades. So one is Royal Master. You get more HP and more attack damage. Uh, but another one is Commander, where units will... You basically, units can attack with you on the move, which is pretty great. But, you know, you don't really get more HP. You're just kind of depending on your units here. But that is kind of nice that you can bring a little group of people around. You're just going to attack while you command it. Although, the one caveat here is that I don't believe that they attack while they're moving. So if you have a proclivity to move a lot of the time, it doesn't really work as well. I just don't really like this upgrade. I may be wrong there, but I think that's what that does. So I'm just going to take the boring Royal Mastery, which is just more of everything for me. I guess is isn't so bad. Anyway, we've got a giant coming through here, and we've got... Actually, this is going to be somewhat of a difficult wave. I think I'm just going to build houses, because if we die, we're dead. Uh, but if we don't, then we should be fine. I think I will also build... Uh, let's try to hold up this... You know what? Nah, let's just build more towers. Fine, good enough. Alright, and let's see if they approach from one side first. Or if we're just going to face a horrible, uh, you know, onslaught. Oh, we are, and we are. We are facing a horrible onslaught from just everywhere. I guess I could have positioned those flail guys a little bit better, but... <laughs> flail gun. <laughs> I was so tempted to do the rail gun thing. I did not position this uh, mill properly. It is definitely going to ruin my score in the end. Oh well, one thing I was kind of wondering about is will you ever just be able to free place buildings rather than use these little blueprints? Although the meta progression with the blueprints... Sorry, that's not really meta. I guess meta progression throughout the mission. Maybe, uh, just progression, not even meta progression. I don't know why I'm reaching for the top shelf so much here. Uh, okay, I, that was a little hard to micro. Now this might have been a better mission to take a melee weapon on, but... I also just think that the bow is very nice and versatile, so I didn't want to mess that up. Okay, but here we go. You appear to be dying. Also you. And we're fine. We're going to win this mission. With relative ease. That sounds like somebody's name. Relative ease. Or like, hey, it's my relative. Ease. That's like a name. Or it, it, it it's close to a name, right? It is what it is. <laughs> It is. You could say that after anything. All right, so we are... Which night are we? We're on night 11 of 13. Oh, this is horrible. Uh, it's going to be just god-awful in a couple of waves. And we'll probably die awfully. I'm not as prepared as I was before because I'm just not good enough. Hmm. <laughs> but yeah, there is like... Const there's sowing the constant seeds of tension in this game. Uh, the difficulty is really well balanced, especially with the mutators. If you put on the right mutators to raise your high score, which I am right now because I am too skilled and I had to make it harder for myself because of how amazing I am, uh, it does get quite, quite crazy. I think I'm just going to do exclusively flails because I really like them. Uh, we will... I had great results with with flail only the other day. All right, so we're going against 30 strong boys from this side, so I'm going to just buy a gate, but only here. They won't have enough common sense to just go around it. Uh, they will destroy that if I upgrade it. I would like to bolster the economy for the end, but we don't have too much time left. Let's just try it if we can, see what we can make happen. Improve uh, our mills and fields. Building where the enemies aren't approaching from, which is probably a strategy that I should have done more of this time, and I didn't. Hmm. Oh, well. Okay, I will build another tower over there before the end, but I think I want to just upgrade our economic buildings here. We'll get, like, one more night out of this. 
Like, it's kind of that toss-up at the end, you know? Like, I didn't really focus on the economy at all for this entire run, and, and now I'm going to. But let's go ahead and bring our flail people. Flail people, flail people. Come on, flail people. Uh, I just had an, an allusion back to the crab people from South Park. Do you remember that? Or it was, uh... I was playing a lot of Cursed Crew today, which is a game that does involve real live crab people. Okay, see? All those archers just killed them all right on the spot right there. Fantastic. Crazy. I mean, not fantastic. The opposite of fantastic. But let's see how we do against enmassed archers. Uh, uh, leave me alone. Although it is good for your main character to take damage, you know? Like, soak up some... Soak up some damage. There we go. Ooh. Ah, oh, it is so sweet to watch a little war of miniature people fighting. I don't know, like, this game really appeals to the boy in me playing with toy soldiers on the carpet, you know what I mean? And I feel as though that is just... That is the essence of good gaming. Uh, ooh. It's just sweet to watch it happen. Alright, so we made half as much gold as we should have. Or was it 30% less? I can't remember, we made a lot less gold. So now we go up against a very easy mission, because we're at night 12 of 13. But, uh, the night after this is going to be god-awful. Just horrible. Uh, a slaughter. Have we fully upgraded these? No, we haven't even had enough money to fully upgrade these things because of our modifiers. Uh, I mean... Are we going to get- what are we going to get from each field? Um... Three to eight. We could get a lot of gold before this night. We, I guess we will kind of create more cannon fodder if we upgrade those buildings. I really want to make sure I have full walls and full army units before the end. So let's go ahead and upgrade our mills so that we make a lot of money before tomorrow night. And then we'll just spam economy before the next day. This is way too late. I wish I had managed to do it earlier. But I mean, at least this night is going to be very easy. Okay, we do have one more upgrade there. Um, oh, that just increases the mill's income itself. I'm not, that might actually be a negative... But, I mean, like, the mill will last longer if we do that. Okay, first off, uh, what do we have left? 25. Let's go ahead and upgrade the rest of these fields. Make sure that we get all the lower level upgrades, because I think those are a little bit more, like, bang for our buck, so to speak. We could do the walls on the very last night, but let's get our armies out. Uh, should we do crossbowmen here? Um, low range, but high damage output. Uh, armored against range attacks, bonus damage against range units, less effective against flying units. We aren't really dealing with too many flying units, so let's go ahead and put in crossbowmen, because they're going to be dealing with guys up close and personal uh, tomorrow night. Or, well, every night. But for now, too. Ooh, I missed another house as well. Eh, we'll get it for the free upgrade. I don't think it's really going to defend our kingdom, but probably make back that gold and... Actually, I'm not sure. Anyway, I don't want to micromanage it too, too much here. 13 gold left. I will buy the rest of the fields here. There we go. Nice. Very nice. Uh, and then 10 gold left. I say we do... Let's see. Six. Uh... Six... Eh, anything economy related that's also going to get in their way. Because I'm just going to make back the money tomorrow night, pretty much. Yeah. Although, you know what, I think I just want these towers upgraded. Yep, that's all I'm going to do. Alright, good enough. Good enough. Off to our death. To our death. Again. So obviously we weren't, like, super maxed out on economy here, but that is... Like I said, because we're playing with a mutator. Uh, ooh, look at all of that gold. Just... <gasps> oh, it makes me feel alive. All right, uh, we have a massive wave with tons of catapults this time. The catapults are really the scary part of this mission. So I will probably spend most of my time looking at those. I'm going to go ahead and build some more walls. I've got 40 gold left. I think we obviously want to max out our troops. So we're going to go ahead and do 8 and 8. But I just want to make sure I have enough money first. Then we'll also put in maybe more flail people, flail people. <laughs> Why is that so much fun to say? Uh, okay. Eight. 
And we'll do another eight here. We're down to 24. I think we should get the level two towers on both of these. That's going to bring us down to 14. And then maybe another tower over here because I feel like I'm going to forget about this side and die from over there. And then we have nine left. Oh, we have only 12 for the wall. I think I messed that up. Oh, well. We'll still maybe survive. What can I even afford? Six. Ah, uh, there's just no point to anything I've done here. Oh, well. YOLO. Whoops, I could have done something actually useful. Oh, well, uh, let it begin. Uh, I think I will stand right about over here at the bottom because there are nine catapults incoming from there. Unless, of course, if they spawn in from everywhere, in which case I will just die. All right, but here are the catapults anyway. We will, like, spend our time in the back line. Back here. Trying to tie these people up, although giants are coming for our fields, and that is not too great. I'm just going to stand back here so that, ah, if only this one giant, I just have to take out this guy first. All right, so now we can go after these catapults, and so will our warriors. Nice, although they have horribly destroyed our front gate, uh, and we will probably not survive much longer. I should have brought my flail people over there. Flail people. <laughs> I can't stop. I can't stop. Please come, flail people. Please. Please. <laughs> Why did I do this earlier? Oh, well. All right. Well, we took him out anyway. I, I think our army was sufficiently overpowered for this mission anyway. Uh, I found that, like, upgrading your army is much better than upgrading the towers. Uh, mainly due to the catapults just basically eating everything in front of them from afar. All right, cool. We've got Bowman over here. I mean, maybe this is going to affect <gasps> my high score, but it is what it is. I, I think this is part of the challenge of this game, because this game is, uh, not gonna lie, the, the base missions, at least the first mission, felt relatively easy. But when I turn on modifiers, I'm like, oh, this is actually a fairly tense experience. And then it leads to, you know, battles like this, where... Like, half my kingdom is falling down. And we are going to die, I am pretty confident. Okay, let me go up to just these catapults, though. If you micro the catapults... See, this is an odd mission where the bow would have helped me at the beginning, but the catapults just get all over the place. And look, half the kingdom is destroyed, but it will miraculously rebuild itself in a moment. Where the... Oh, God! They're coming from the center again. Again, we have to tie them up. Can I get you to... Please, everyone hit me. Oh, look at those flail people coming in clutch. And the other flail people. Come the other... Okay, they're coming in anyway. Never mind. I don't particularly care how much of the kingdom gets destroyed because of the final night anyway, but... Obviously, you can see how much the difficulty kind of ramps up. So, it does test your, like, kind of Monopoly Man brain, this game. You know? I, I just like the feeling of... You know, kind of taking it hard the first few waves. So that after that... You know, you can experience the pleasure, the uh, somatic sensory uh, apotheosis of having a lot of your units fight a lot of their units. And it does look cool and fun in the end, you know, like two massed armies fighting. You get that satisfaction. All right, so 64, 64, and 67. Wow, I did even worse than... Oh, no, I didn't do worse than the last time. With no restarts! Oh, God! And you do get, like, a little bit of meta progression after each mission, so... Castle blueprints. Walls and towers have 70% more health. That is quite good. Um, and hunters. You unlocked a new upgrade path for your ranged units. Hunters excel against monsters, but have decent melee capability. Ooh! <laughs> Multi-talented. Uh, gladiator school. Units trained at 75%. I will look... Uh, let me just see if there's any of these I'm going to use. Facilities cost plus one gold. Uh, I don't think I have actually gotten to that part yet. Your horse is 20% past, uh... Ooh, like trample. That is kind of cool. I may have to look these over, and then more mutators. Okay, so a new record. Amazing. Where am I at? Uh, alright, who has beaten this mission? And then you get to compare with your friends. Okay, I got my high score above Kiwos. Uh, Pravis and Daltos. Is there... Uh, David, Alright, alright, very well. Very well, I guess Daltos did, did a lot of work on that mission. How dare you, Daltos? 
Shameless plug for Daltos. Fantastic. Um, okay, so we do have, like, a, a certain number of mutators for each mission. So if I were to go to play on this mission again, uh, beating it with the other... This is actually a rather hard one. And I found that the turtle mutator was very difficult, too. Challenge of the turtle god. Oh, how dare the turtle... You can turn on multiple at once. Oh, god, you can turn on all of them at once. Uh, that is certain death. Although that does basically, like, double your score. I don't know why it would go only to plus their whatever it is. I guess that's still being worked out. Uh, anyway, we will go ahead and make our way over to the second mission here. Uh, and each area kind of changes a little bit. There's the tutorial area. This is the first, mi first mission. And uh, we have, I guess, only really one, two, three, four, five, six real areas shown here. But it does seem pretty pretty easy to just add more content. I, I think just as they add more content, it's going to be sweet. This time I will play with a sword. I've never actually heard this word pronounced before, so a sword. Your horse is 20% faster and riding over... Uh, enemies deals... Okay, we have entered the second mission. Each mission, the strategy kind of changes up. I've played through this one a couple of times uh, because it has a slightly difficult start. And there are specific things that you need to build if you wish to survive. So I'm going to go ahead and build. We will put in some archers over here again, I believe. Or should we try hunters? Self-defense? Eh. Let's build longbow archers just because they're going to be central to our main base. So I feel as though that is kind of important. Okay, we've got four gold left. Uh, I am going to go ahead and build some more troops up top because there's so many different paths in this mission that it only makes sense man it only makes sense to build units instead of towers at least this early on uh, we will go ahead and put down another barracks over here and we will build more flail people as they have performed splendidly in the past <clears throat> so we continue to expect their progress uh to go in the future Okay, so this is wave one of 12. We are going to use our ability here. I believe I just forgot to use my ability for the entire last mission. So you can do sort of like a circle attack. Which is that little, like, clock over my head that is... Yeah, there we go. It just re... Uh, it just kind of reset again. Nice. Nice. I guess it's not really a clock. It's more of a circle. But, you know, circles are clocks. And clocks are circles. Uh, okay, so here we go. Knight survived. Uh, realm 100% protected. Man, just all confirmation of how great I am every single night. Oh, amazing. Okay, I've played through this mission once before and died horribly. Actually, three times and all of them died. So I'm going to build a fence right here. Only because we are going to deal with these dangerous pointy sphere people coming from below. And that is obviously not such a great thing. I'm thinking that might be enough. It's really just the sphere people that I'm worried about. These men with sticks over here are not really as dangerous. Although I will bring the flail people in front of the gate. So let me just go ahead and order them. Really, what I'm what I'm testing every night is how cheap can I be so that I can keep... <laughs> throne fall. How cheap can I be uh, in order to, like, you know, max out our economy as we go here. We can't really upgrade our main hall to level 2 yet, though. If we just go ahead and do that. And then we put the flail people in the front. Go, flail people, go. Alright, let's continue. I will start out up here for a second, and then I will quickly move to the sphere people. Oh no, god, the sphere people are already moving in. Never mind, I'm going to go immediately to the sphere people. How could I have let this happen? I guess that those... Those stick people were really just a distraction. Like, what is each wave, you know? Okay, so again, a gate that opens, but they can't get through. I almost died there. Would have been horrible. Everyone would have been sad. All right, here we go. Uh, I don't believe they will be able to get this gate down. Or they might barely get it down, but then, you know, the rest will occur. Okay, cool. We have stopped them, and amazing. They didn't even destroy anything in our realm. I don't believe we lose money for lost lives. Because lives are, after all, like, I guess expendable. Uh, here we go. We will bring over the bowmen. Uh, where do I put them? We have to be so kind of centralized in this mission that it, it is giving me, like, agonizing decision-making failure. Uh, we have 
14 and two coming from this side. Wow, this is such a huge range of areas we have to defend, man. I think I could leave the flail people over there. Should we have the mine over here? Uh, I'm thinking, let's try to just upgrade our main structure. I mean, it will do a better job defending itself, right? I think if we do another one of those economic upgrades, just so that we can stop thinking about our economy, that would be great. Uh, also, too, let's put maybe a tower over here. Because that will defend the main base if they should get to it anyway, so that is a help. And then only two left, we'll build another house. And then I'll just spend a lot of my time up north uh, fighting off this wave. And just hope that the knights don't get through. Let's do that. Go with that. That sounds like pretty good logic. And then go from there. All right, we will continue up here. And here I am. Okay, everyone, gather around, gather around, and swing, and then run away. Can I dodge those? I can actually dodge those, as it turns out. I just hope that everything is going well on the other flank. I need to kind of use my own abilities to amazingly repel the adversary. Here. Oh no, the flail people have decided to move south. Here we go, just get another swing. I think I actually did a pretty good job on that group. The Obviously the ranged guys are pretty strong against units, so that is not great, but here we go. All right, our ability is recharged and slash again. Nice. I feel as though that could have gone horribly, but I managed it very well through the art of prediction. Like, how... How Wall Street bets should we be? You know what I mean? Like, should we just go in hard on economy? But if we don't manage to fend off the wave and we lose all our structures, then we don't even benefit from it. Okay, so we do have more angry sphere people from a coming in from above. Uh, there are just so many places that the enemy could come from in this mission. Wow. Very crazy. Very crazy. I think if we build more units, they will be very versatile and good. So let's go ahead and do that. Let's also do more longbow. I just feel as though these enemies are very vers or, uh, units are very versatile. And putting those at your main base seems to be a good opportunity. Nobody coming from the south this time. Uh, what else could we do economically? We have eight gold left. That is enough to get some more stuff done. I think we'll be fine in the north. If we build another mine shaft, only because these mine shafts are paying us a lot right now. Ooh, barricades. Ooh, very cool and interesting. Very, very cool. Let's just go ahead and build another house, though. Ooh, teleportation, teleportation. Sorry, lost it there for a second. Uh, let's go ahead and... Defend the north. Defend the north. Yeah, the sphere people really are the most problematic amongst these enemy types. Death to the spheres! Death to the spheres! Uh, see how much damage that- this is really problematic and bad. Uh, you can micro it slightly so that you, you know, take a bit of damage for yourself, but look at what he's doing to me. Help me. I think you're really just there to soak up damage and lead them away. Although there are... Nope, nope, I am dead. No, they really did a lot of damage. Did the other sphere people get me? I guess they must have. Now, you do respawn wherever your, like, cursor is. So it's sort of like you're a slower-moving version of yourself for that time. That might have been a bad death right there. Okay, and I am dead again. At least I gave my blood for the good cause. Wow, I'm really not playing too particularly well. I do think that our castle will survive, but I think we will take unnecessary damage this time. Sadly, due to my mismanagement of the incident. Oh no, we are actually fine, as it turns out. Never mind, I take it all back. I am a great human being. I am completely self-actualized and perfect in every way. All right, so four gold remains, uh, although we collect... <gasps> uh, we get a lot of... <laughs> just that animation there is so good. I do like how the enemies just totally switch up from round to round, so you can go, all right, like, let's not focus on that. We are going against, what is that, like a sea urchin? I guess, yeah, like a sea urchin from the south. Uh, if we are, if that is the experience that we are having, let's go ahead and put down a wall here. And then we will <gasps> teleport, and then we will, uh... Let's go ahead and build one more tower. 
And then I think we just build all of our economic buildings because I think this is a great opportunity to just rack up some gold right here. We'll want to make sure that we defend these things. So let's start in the middle with just a lot of them. And if I don't die, then I think this might be where we escape the gravitational pull. You know, like when life gets good because you just kind of... Like, you, you invested enough of the early funds to uh, to make for easy going for the rest of the playthrough, that is. All right. Position the... No, don't go over there! Why would you do that? Fantastic. All right, put you over there. Uh, and then, since they will be spending so much time on the wall, let's just bring you guys over here. I assume those archers will get into the fighting. I think I'm just going to put you, like, on top of the wall. Oh, that's interesting. They teleported. Very well, very well. Teleportation is acceptable in certain contexts. All right, what are you going to do to me? You are a giant exploding ball. <laughs> ball. Ah. All right, here we go. Uh, honestly, not that bad an enemy. I keep seeming to die. All right. I am I am dead then. I am dead. Still, I think we did a good enough job here that we'll be fine. Yeah. Good. There is only one giant threatening ball remaining. All right, good. I don't think we had to lose that wall, but it is what it is. All right. So we've got people coming in from the northeast. Uh, and uh, sphere people coming in from the northwest. Knights and archers. Methinks if we delay these people, celebration and ballyhoo will be had by us. If we build a, a mill, are really going to be our best economic output here. I know I'm talking about all this like the central banker, you know, but playing these types of games does kind of make me feel like, well, the central banker. All right, so a wall is an option there. Still, can we build anything more economically viable in the middle of our base? No, we can eventually. There's such a nice spread of walls we could take part in here. But I think what we have to do is just sort of bring these flail people to the north this time. Although they will not fare too well against these archers. These people are definitely going to destroy whatever we create up there. This is just a big enemy wave. I think not only the flail people... Okay, we can just teleport them there. Never mind. I think we, we must purchase a wall here. We must. And then let's go ahead and put down another tower. And maybe another tower. And maybe that's not very original of me. But I am who I am. Um, and then as for the sphere people... I think if we build a small wall to just slightly delay them up here, that would probably be good. The sphere people, the pointy sphere people do not fare too well against these walls. So if we just have something dealing attrition, some type of attrition to them. Uh, and then we put in another mine, because why not have one? Do we, like, alternate amongst the three mines? And they call it a mines. A mines! There we are. Sphere people or not, uh, I think that our archers will fight them from here. But let me bring over a couple more just to the north. And then I think I will put the others on the south. There we go. Very nice. Very nice and cool. And I think uh, let's spend the last of the money on a mill and some fields up in the north. Because that will at least delay them. Uh, but hopefully we can harvest the good money that will come out of it. All right, there we go. You two remain over there. Uh, we will definitely not still survive. <laughs> um, maybe another tower? Maybe another tower? Yeah, let's just do that. I, I feel like I'm not going to be able to defend those fields in one more house. All right, it is time to die. Let's begin the wave. I've positioned everyone everywhere they should be and spent most of my money. Oh, God, they all spawned immediately at once. I must survive this. Uh, that is a... Terrible and interesting, yet different way to play this mission. All right, let me just... Ooh. I, you know, I think it was worth it. I did so much damage to those enemies. I did not expect them all to spawn in at once immediately. Uh, the reinforcements here is going to be very complex. 
But here we go. Yep, I think we have to just... Yep, that was worth it. All right, I, I, was, I was right to spend all my time up here. And now these guys... Oh, they're actually reinforcing us over here. That is fantastic. Do all the troops... I just have to check this. For... Nope, they don't. We just got lucky that once. I was like, oh, they're coming to the battle without me commanding them. Nope, they don't do that. I love it when I just advertise features in games that aren't in the game. Oh, who are you with your longbow over here? Okay, not bad. I'm glad that we didn't build the mill, because we clearly wouldn't have been able to defend it. Uh, but that was another night. That was another thing that could have happened and did the way it did. All right, so another 30-ish uh, gold for this. We could upgrade our main base, but I already feel as though we have enough stuff to upgrade that I won't even be able to pick from the options. Uh, if I put another tower here, you know, I think I'm just going to set up, think about it, and then come back. Okay, this time I have opted to build some fields in the north, uh, the northeast, where, well, I feel like, you know, there's no waves of enemies coming from there, so not a bad idea. I think that'll work out. On the uh, excuse me, on the south, we have quite a lot of enemies coming, so we just, you know, fight that war over there, but we still leave some people for backup and insurance in the north. Otherwise, I think we can just let people have this fight, and we will also probably spend our time fighting the giants. Here we go. Uh, not too bad start. The giants are always the ones that sneak up on me. <laughs> you know, like, I'm a giant. I'm sneaky, sneaky boy. Ooh, what happens when, the oh God, I didn't expect that. So these guys don't really deal damage, but you just have to, no, 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 don't do that. Okay, they did it. Well, lesson learned, at least we learned it before it came at a horrible time. A lot of these missions do come down to who should I focus on in the final mission, you know? So now we know that those giant balls of spikes are in fact dangerous. Uh, and not to be, you know, not to be messed with. There we go. Oh, something about, like, the low poly... You know, actually, I just thought about this. I don't really like low poly, but I like this game. I think it's because they've taken... Something about the shaders, man. I will come up with my art history opinion about this later, but I, I do like this, despite the fact... <laughs> Why do I like this? Uh, oh well. Alright, we are going against quite a difficult wave here, so I'm going to set up again. There are just a lot of decisions to be made. Okay, I have attempted to automate all of our defenses in the north, just by improving our towers and so on and so forth. Uh, but I am basically going to just let this part stand on its own. It must survive. Maybe I'll put down a couple of... Eh, you know, people aren't really coming from the south too bad. I could bring over a couple of these guys, yeah. And we will position them up there, but basically just go full Wall Street bets on the north. And then if that doesn't work out, well, I mean, hopefully that will work out, and the towers will defend the fields. But then other than that, leave our troops uh, to fight the other wars that are going on here. I'm pretty confident we'll be fine from the south, just because we got a lot of eyes on that, but I think we need a couple more people on the north. Okay, I do not know where to stand for this mission because quite a lot is happening, but I think I will stand in the north because I just don't really have very many troops here. So, let's begin and go low. Alright, uh... Not too bad, not too bad. I guess these giants are really the thought here. Oh, I am dead again. I am not really playing too particularly well right now. Really, just focusing myself on the giants because they're the ones who are going to take down the walls the fastest. Oh no, there comes the bomb guy. Have we not learned our lesson from the- I am dead again. Really not playing too particularly well here, although I don't think they will get most of the fields. Uh, no, they will. They will, in fact, get most of the fields. <laughs> not if I could help it. All right, now I think we did it right. All right, this giant will die, and now we can go see what's happening with the rest of our base. I just wanted to make sure that that northern side didn't fall. How's everybody doing? It looks very peaceful up here. Okay, so they destroyed a few houses. That's not so bad. Um, is it even worth fighting that guy? Yeah, I can. I can teleport here. Well, despite all of the horrible dying, everything else seems to be going, well, hunky-dory. And Ooh, look at all of that gold. Amazing. Amazing. 
Uh, nine out of twelve nights. So we've got a little bit more to do with our upgrading. Thirty-five nights coming from three sides tonight. That is not to be trifled with. Uh, we really want to keep the exterior of our base. God, I can't say the word ex exterior of the base defended just because the, the center is squishy and undefended. So I think if we do 20 for an upgrade, uh, we will do... I think I'll just stick with Royal Mastery again there. And then if we do... You people come with me, although you'll be pretty useless against these knights. Are we able to? Yeah, we are able to upgrade this wall. That's the main one that I want to do. Other than that, 25 gold left. We're generating so much from our mills here. The question is, do we just continue upgrading the mills forever? Maybe yes. I think we'll do the inner walls later on. Yeah, 35 knights is... You can't really mess around with that. Alright, we will just build more walls here, I think. Because this is going to keep them at bay. You know, just keep the fire focused on them from our other towers as we go. And then try to put more money into economy here. So seven, ten left now to upgrade our mills. Okay, bring the pitchforks and torches and let the, you know, torture begin. Uh, eh. 35 nights just gives me pause. I feel as though we'll die. No, they're actually doing very well for themselves. I just wanted to check on these guys. This side will be fine, I'm very confident. I'm just going to leave it. Although that is kind of agonizing. What happens when they die? Yeah, they'll be fine. I'm not too worried about them. Let's go see how the other defenses are doing. I felt like knights are... Knights are not actually as bad as I thought they were. Good, our central tower is doing fine too. Although this side is not doing too particularly well. So let's go put our energy into this. I guess this is kind of the reasoning behind like building up a super... Superman for your main character. Somebody really strong uh, in the middle. But here we go. Yeah, we need to upgrade more of these towers. Just not very good return on these towers. This wave is very long and persistent, though, too. 35 nights? Man, that's a lot. God, they just... Okay, that is the end of the wave there, though. And good, but the flail people... The flail people have rallied. And the walls are pretty much impenetrable, so great. Great, a hard wall on the outside leads to a soft heart on the inside. And that's not actually a real saying, but it sounds like it could be. All right, um, hmm. 56 now, 57. I feel like I'm just making up for my economic improvements each round. Where are they coming from? Oh, that is a juicy wave. All right, I need to go assess this situation. I think they are, oh God, we are completely unprepared from this side. All right, whatever, we need to bolster this side then. Okay, I have scaled up the economic operations in the Northeast yet once, uh, yet once again to the max. Now we have very good mill production, uh, and we have a large army here on the south. I do like when you kind of s switch up the uh, economic side and the military side. Makes me feel very tactical. Uh, I guess we want to take out those giant sea urchins, although the catapults are the one I seem to do better with. So let's see if we can camp the catapults here and just prevent them. From yep, we totally can. And if we can just get in here to the soft underbelly. I think that the word underbelly ought to be used more. Any opportunity to call something an underbelly is a great opportunity. Uh, even in context where it really wouldn't be the best, the best word to use. Let's try to bring that word back. Nice. Ooh. If there can be seamy underbellies, then what other end underbellies are out there for the experiencing, after all? We have... Uh, actually, this is not too challenging. <clears throat> this is what I'm talking about. Like, <clears throat> excuse me. There are a few waves that are tricky and difficult to deal with, but then the rest feels honestly pretty well balanced. Okay, here's great micromanagement just getting in their way. Man, I, I, sometimes when I play games, I feel like a c football commentator who's like trying to commentate on the players, but he is the players, <laughs> you know? Like... So it's rare. That is a, a very complicated way of saying I am alone. Uh, we have 14 giants coming from the north. That is a lot of giants. As well as, what is that, 35 pointy sphere people coming from the south. I'm thinking this will be a pretty easy wave to figure out, but uh, we're clearly going to have to put everyone 
in one place or another. I'm going to figure this out and then start again. The towers have been upgraded and the board has been set. Uh, we have 14 giants coming in from the north. Debatably, debatably unprepared for that. I'm going to bring over maybe just a couple more archers from over here because we have the rest of our entire army down here for the 35 spiky boys that are coming in from that side. They really don't have any names, I guess. Uh, do they? You know, maybe they do have names. Maybe these enemies. Hang on a second. They do ogres and racers. Okay, but I kind of preferred the nomenclature I was using before that. Uh, ooh, this ballista tower should be very, very effective. Can we get a range if we highlight? I don't seem to be able to. I guess not. Oh, well. Uh, I will just run in their midst. Eh, and I'm dying horribly. Oh, no. This is not good. This is not good. Uh, ooh, they are destroying everything. That is bad. That is bad. They are going to destroy my fields, and I'm going to be very sad. I didn't expect them all to come in that fast yet again. Okay, we are going to lose our entire economy, but, you know, great men have faced adversity throughout their careers. Think about it. I'm just going to leave this. I think my troops are going to handle most of that. Are the racers... Wow, it was just no contest against the racers. That is very uneven. See, I thought that the racers would do a lot of damage to us. Uh, although they didn't, and that was really where my plan went, went wrong. <laughs> I can't believe that. I had upgraded those other two towers to, like, Ballista and everything else, and it just didn't pan out. Oh, well, uh, I leave... I'll just edit that out, probably, in post. Um, let's go... Let's go ahead and... Oh, God, 50 nights. These waves are getting, like, really unpredictable and unmanageable. I guess that's part of it, is you just sort of find out whether or not you were prepared at the end of the night some of the time. 25 knights and 3. I'm just trying to upgrade the parts that all of the enemies are going to filter into first rather than one path, you know? Part of me just feels like kind of button pressing and going, all right, will I survive from this? I feel as though there should have been another barracks up here. Only three o ogres this wave as well. Uh... I, I, there's so many things I would have changed. Oh, well, um, let's just put more towers up here because I think this is important. Fortress tower just seems like a pretty generally good upgrade. I've already got the ballista and that, we say already how that did not go too well. Uh, you know, I'm kind of losing focus on the important things. Let's just rebuild our army. 16 here. Or this, these guys are pretty central. We'll upgrade them. All right, just cross your fingers and hope now. Build one more tower, and where am I going to stand? I guess I will go to... Eh, let's watch the battle over here. Nope, that's not a good idea. Let's go north again. Definitely going to need that. And I'll bring you guys with me. All right. If we drop them off here. And start. Maybe give them just a little bit of room from the beginning to see if that makes a difference. Nope. Alright, well, if the first of the ogres... We already got their first wave, and now those guys are just spawn camping the rest. I think we'll be alright up there. This is just sort of a general attack on all areas. How's everybody else doing? Oh, cool. You've actually got, like, a little respawn bar on each, uh... Barracks. We want to use each one to its utmost capacity, after all. Wow, doing very well up here in the north. Definitely get rid of that catapult. Nope, they've already done it. Well, I'm not even going to have to do anything here. Nice, very nice. Uh, don't destroy my farms. Uh, whew, this... Alright, I'm surprised how well this wave is going. I guess since we've just focused on every area generally, we now just sort of have a general balance in our defense. Although these knights... They seem to be getting, like, stuck... Yeah, kind of stuck on the rock. Okay, that is, like, fortunate. Good, good. It's very interesting pathfinding in going on here, though. I feel like the fact that you can kind of mess with the enemy's pathfinding just by kind of walking into them is a very cool and underutilized feature that just keeps me into the game. Like, hours... This is one of those games where hours go by. The mind goes blank. 
Okay, they seem to have survived the attack in the north, although the staggering of the attacks is just very difficult to comprehend. It really just feels like I'm a guy watching a fight take place, and I can... I, I was getting to be kind of a control freak before, like, oh, maybe I can watch and make sure that the entire fortress is defended myself. Not really, you're just sort of, like, planning your defenses, you just sort of have to trust that everything will work out in one area, and then you kind of continue? Which is kind of cool, it feels like being a soldier in a fight. I do like that, and there are a few games that really nail that feeling of being under assault. Uh, but oh god, now they are coming from over here, and I did not expect this at all. We are totally unprepared from this side. Now we're just going to get destroyed by ogres from here. Uh, it's all ogre now. Hopefully they won't kill us. Well, we survived the night. I have slain all of the ogres, just barely, and they didn't destroy- Oh, that was the last wave. I've expected so much more. Okay, good enough. Uh, I probably did horribly in it, but, you know, uh, no restarts. All right, that's something to celebrate. A pretty low score there, though. Assassin's training, permanently in the Octanu. Ooh. So many new options. There really does seem to be a surfeit of options here. Ooh, another perk point in every game, too. Very cool. Very cool. We have reached the third mission. Uh, it is the, well, it is the fourth mission, but it is the third real mission. It is a snowy mission, which is always a great time. Uh, to be had. We do seem to have enemies emerging from some sort of frost cave. Uh, I think... Ooh. Harbor builds fishing boat every morning, max five boats. Ooh. So that means that if we build a boat, this harbor today, then it will continue to produce for us in the coming days. Each boat generates one gold per... Okay, I'm in. I'm sold, man. Let's begin the enemies. Now, I wasn't using the bowman's ability before. Uh, but, yeah, you do get sort of a sword attack here. Very cool, uh, kind of, actually reminding me of The Long Dark right now. Ah, uh, makes me want to go back and replay The Long Dark. I misread the title to The Long Dark once, and... I don't think I'm gonna finish that story. Uh, but yeah, that's, it, it is what it is. The boats are coming out. Ooh, they look like they're from... <laughs> Uh, where, where do I, where do I get off on this adventure? Um, okay, we have, like, teardrops coming out from over here, although we can see the name. Slimes, okay, so, uh, oh, you actually do get some information. They appear in groups, which makes them vulnerable against splash damage. Context clues, my friends. All right, I suppose, uh, we still want to focus on the economy, as if we were Jerome Powell. But I'm going to go ahead and build a tower here because I fear our slime overlords and I will proceed to the south. Very exciting, very exciting that they're coming out of these caves, of course, although my character is not very well equipped to this type of situation. Uh, if only I'd taken the sword, although I, I thought that it would pose an even greater challenge with the sword. Oh, the horse remains alive. I am the only one who dies. It was kind of a silly death, but, you know, it doesn't really make a difference for my score, I suppose. I guess it does with time. But, you know, right now I'm just focused on survival, man. Focused on my grind set. Uh, what do we have? This blacksmith researches... Oh, ooh, upgrades. Ooh, very exciting upgrades. Uh, archery range. Obviously a good thing. Uh, we have four... Who is this... Master crossbowman. Um, yeah. they're weak against buildings. Okay, context clues. Yeah, there we go. So three of those for that. Uh, and I guess just keep the focus on the economy here. All right, that is somewhat helpful because there was... Uh, I don't really like it when you just have to play through the mission and fail. And then, oh, you learn that you're an idiot, you know. No, I do prefer, like, having some chance. You know, that kind of... The reason why people dislike roguelikes because of the great focus on meta progression. Although, like I said, I do think that this game has a decent balance between meta progression, as well as, like, rewarding generalized knowledge, you know. I get a reward for knowing what is the capital of Mississippi, for example. 
Let's go over here. We may have an opportunity to get uh, that tower. I'm guessing our tower is going to go down. That is quite a lot of slimes very early on. I think we just go to seven here and then, ooh, assassin's training. 100% uh, uh, attack. Uh, if you manage to use your active ability just as the cooldown wears off, the next cooldown is cut in half. Now, that is great and all, but I uh, don't believe in myself. I don't think I'm going to do a good job. I, I have a lot of problems. So I think that I'll probably get better results from, you know, uh, uh, building things to do the work for me, that is to say. Yeah. It's not that I'm not going to try. I mean, you know, I'm just... I, I think of it as, like, realism. You know? Ooh, ooh, the slime people. Man, this is making me want to turn back the clock to 2009 and play Dragon Hero Quest Rocket Slime, that game or something. Ooh, this is not too good. I mean, they won't destroy the fortress in the middle. I should never say that. I'm learning my lesson now because that causes them to do the opposite of that. Fantastic. The day is ours and my mind has grown larger. Although we didn't get the revenue because it upgraded the wrong house. That is depressing. So we have, ooh, a battering ram. What is it vulnerable to then? Let's use the context list. Rams are siege weapons with a ton of health. Uh, armored against ranged attacks. Uh, even worse for us. Even worse. Okay, we will build melee units then. So we will go in gradually, not just thinking only of the economy. But also of, yes, that's right, the context, yes, context clues. Let's go in with the flails because those are the only th uh, thing that I trust because I'm unadventurous and I don't like to take risks. All right, continue. I don't think we'll need to micromanage for all that, but yeah, we'll focus our people on their knights so that our flails can do the main work. Excellent job, flails. Oh! Come now, countrymen. There we go. How now, Brant? What do you even say? You see, this is the reason why tower defense games, I make one video on them, and then we just go, because after this, I'm just experiencing too much pleasure playing the game. You should probably check this game out. I always feel that about these that way about these tower defense roguelike games. I just get so much... I soak up so much enjoyment of them that... I shudder to think what it would be like to not be playing it. Wasps are flying monsters eager to destroy every single one of your... Oh, so they really go for the economic build. Okay, it is good to know their proper name. Okay, so we do have a harbor opportunity. I do want to build this harbor. I feel like I could go in for that. Just because this first one has been very useful. Or maybe just don't. Well, we will upgrade another house. You know, I decided to just build a lot of regular boy buildings uh, because they will somewhat defend my main house and I think they'll just destroy the lake home. Uh, things are kind of useless if you can't defend them. As well as another tower here just because they're wasps and obviously they fly because that's something that they do. Uh, and me, you, they're all dead. <laughs> what else was going to happen? At, I mean, after all, you know I edited out all of the parts where I actually died. It would just be disappointing to lose the game after all of that hardship you've been through. Ooh, suction of the money. All right, let's continue here. I'm going to, I think I should just build and then we'll update as we go. It's perfect. The next wave begins. I've basically just upgraded our dock uh, because I like it. And as well as just getting more flail people. Flail people, flail people. There they go. Don't die. Don't die. See, look at how good these flail people are. They're great. They never fail. <laughs> they never... They always flail. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, Jesus. I really need to go to some therapy. Oh, we're being targeted. God, that is so cool. You know, I really love early access for games like this. The developers get a chance to try out the concept. If only... If only AAA could get an opportunity. Well, do they? Because this has been really the, the toss-up here. 
I guess it would be too many projects at one studio that they would have to see. Because you think, like, with all the budget that AAA has, if you were to get experiences like this... Like, I'm thinking back to the good old days of the Xbox Live Arcade, XBLA, which is a great time. This is just that kind of experience, I feel, you know? Stuff like, uh, Braid, or, um... I don't know, that kind of thing. That kind of thing. Uh, what was that other game about the dungeon? There have been so many games. That really did nothing for it. There was another game about an adventurer. <laughs> this didn't help either. Uh, Alright, I gotta prepare for another one and get a hold of myself. Okay, I'm happy with my decisions. The slime people will be... Oh gosh, wow! That is unfortunate. I guess they must blow up. I should have done more reading on these slime people. They seem to blow up with my flail people. What a travesty. What a hard day for the flail people. Um... Wow, they did an unexpectedly high amount of damage to them. The good news... Well, there is no good news. We're just gonna die. That's it. Although we should probably be able to take out this enemy wave. Man, it's so sweet when they go to war as little people. Oh, I love the wars of the of the small. Man, look at that. It's just so satisfying. Every, like, slip and slop in this game, every noise, every tick and talk, it just makes this, like, serotonin-induced rush. And I feel perfect listening to it um we've got another wave we've pretty much got waves coming from everywhere these are all wasps though all right we are researching more ranged damage i figured that would be important because range damage is pretty much the vast majority of what you're doing in this game let's go ahead and build a couple of more economies and then um, i'm thinking we just build out starting closer to our main area like we want a very a strong core you know like core strength like immortal abs, man. Um, I gotta get set up. All right, the next wave is pretty much just wasps. This seems relatively easy, so I, I, I feel like I got away with murder right here, man. Very, very easy wave. Uh, so no fears. We will just resume, resume at the next wave. All right, this is a pretty big wave. We've got some ogres now. I know everyone's real name, so I will stop calling them by. Although I did like I did like what I was calling them. Although this wave is kind of unpredictable, and I think you know what I might be able to do here if I just draw them up this away. Okay, so now half of them will go over to the other side, but I have drawn some of them into my other. Def Ooh, it's like the ultimate tower defense idea. Except, I mean, we will horribly abandon that side of our defenses, but at least I drew some of them over to the other side, right? Assuming I can even do ev even that much. I was thinking one other thing, too, because this game does seem to try to get you to, like, get the very best score, you know, like leaderboards and whatnot. Very competitive. Very, very competitive. But that being said, I do feel like there must be some better strategy of just leaving things in your base and defending those rather than trying to expand out like it's Factorio. Okay, this is the second to last. Yes, that is correct. The second to last wave. I think we need to make our walls bigger. It would really stink to lose at the very end here because you put in so much work. But honestly, I feel as though I've not played any of those crazy builds where you really just overdo it on your main dude's health. So, for right now... Ooh, look, a ballista. That thing has great range. You can seriously big brain this game. I'm guessing that the comments section will be flooded with people that tell me I'm just doing everything wrong with this. But this is a game that I almost missed, man. It's just... It was such a small game, you know? Small. Almost could have missed out on this one. But I, I feel like in a year from now, this experience is just going to be so much bigger. So much bigger and better. Ooh, look at that. Oof. Fortunately, they don't kill the horse. Anyway, I think I've got one wave left here, but this this map... Ah, I died again. This map I did not honestly find as interesting as the last one. The last one was very challenging, but uh, let's see what happens with the other waves. 
I may have to prepare to eat my own hat because this last wave appears to be the most interesting of them all. We have some sort of worm in the ocean that has shown up of the uh, at the lake of all places. Who would have... <laughs> oh, man. There it goes. I should have known that the lake would have been a source of giant worms. Uh, I guess I'm supposed to go and fight it. Yeah, like it's a boss fight. Oh, and it's throwing up enemies. That is so cool. Oh, it all makes sense now. Okay, this is way better than I thought. I must fight the worm myself. Or my towers will, to be fair. Okay, that is good. Otherwise, that would have felt very difficult, but... Oh, that's so gross. God. It's like something out of Resident Evil. You know, one of those bosses in it. And he's throwing up strong people, too. This is very cool. Okay, 10 out of 10. I'm prepared to say that this totally reinvents the tower defense genre. Genre in a very exciting... That is very cool, though. That is... You gotta admit, that is a new and unique take on the way things are. I guess it just kind of alternates back and forth between these two? All right, good. Not overcomplicated. I like it because I feel like I didn't deserve to have to fight that. Very cool boss. I'm all for it. Um... A bit long, but I feel like being drawn out is okay for a tower defense. One thing that might be interesting or helpful here would be to have a window showing the main base. So you can see what's going on over there, you know. Or maybe again, maybe it's part of the challenge. How dare you show up near my front towers? Honestly, not a very good idea. Oh god, he's throwing direct he's throwing up directly into the base. This is awful. He's getting to our this is cheating. Has to be cheating. Dude, no, no, no. That's terrible. That's terrible. How was this authorized? I think we're going to have to deal with one more vomit storm directly into the base. That was such a cheap shot, man. That's very cool, though. Uh, if I have to replay the mission because of that, it... Yeah, no, it'll still be cool and worth it. He's totally going to come here for the last one. Yep, there he goes. Oh, no, he didn't. Never mind. But it would have been really bad if he did. Because that was a that was a dirty trick. All right, I believe this is the last one, and... Oh, no, there is still yet one more left. He's totally going for it right now. Ah, uh, no. No, don't let the mission end here. Anything but this. Not like this. I think we'll kill him, though, before he destroys our tower. Very cool. Very, very cool. And yet we still have to take out the enemies, but I think... Yeah, we're good. All right. The forces of justice have prevailed. Amazing. <coughs> Deserved. Deserved. Victory. Sometimes the extent of my genius amazes even me. Uh, no mutator bonus, but no restarts because, you know, I'm awesome. You permanently unlocked a new upgrade path for your melee units. Oh, very nice. So, th Man, there are so many new dimensions being unlocked. Deal 80% more damage, but you have 60. Uh, actually, that is not such a bad one, glass cannon. Uh, castle up. Uh, sweet. Cool. Very nice, very nice. You know, one thing I'm noticing about this game when I look at the player achievement percentages, a lot of people get through this game. Which a lot of people just buy games and they sit in their Steam library, so it was kind of nice to see, uh... Ooh, a trial. None of my friends have played this level yet. Onward and upward we go to the next level. Uh, this one appears to be a radial map with some sort of islands theme going on. We have mm, a lot of enemies, but they're all pretty weak right here, so I'm not too worried about this. But yeah, uh, each, you know, I'm thinking that in terms of replay value here, you pretty much could go back and do the entire thing. Although each level sort of in a balloons TD five cents or pick whatever balloons you prefer here according to your religion um oh hero's quarter Ooh, hero stronger boys uh, 
let's go ahead and put in, no, not a bridge. I mean, I don't really see why we would connect another set of lands over yonder. But, uh, yeah, we do seem to be getting, like, a different geometric challenge in each level. So that does make for some replay value. Uh, this just looks interesting, so, yes. Okay, a golem. Very sturdy unit that deals both splash damage as well as plenty of single target damage. Perfect for frontline when supported by other units. Or, uh, support mage. A golem seems more fun, so let's go for that. As far as everything else is concerned. Really, again, I think the philosophy continues of don't, but, you know, like, um, like, don't buy economical buildings if you can't afford them. Likewise, in the words of Michael Jackson, you know, if you can't feed your baby, then don't have a baby. And don't think, maybe, if you can't feed your baby, or something thereabouts. Uh, although I did just build two buildings that I also probably won't be able to defend. Let's put our hero in front of them and maybe the turrets will fire at people from over over uh, yonder. But I think these are the only two sources of enemies and bowmen and... Who is this? Pifes. Or pikes? Long... Must be pikes. I've never heard of a pife. But... It could be that I'm just an ignorant person. That is always, honestly, a possibility. Uh, but here we go. Ooh, how does the golem fare? Oh. Oh, well. Now, another thing that is occurring to me, in my vast and infinite wisdom, uh, is that you probably want to build so that you can quickly take out the wave at night, just for your score's sake. But... Oh, this level presents a new and unique challenge in that there are enemies from various points. Thank God I'm not going for the highest of scores. Uh, it is rather embarrassing to, to preach that score to your friends. Anyway, what are we at, 11 now? We do kind of need our economy to start picking up. I assume that this is like economical areas back here, so let's go ahead and just build over this way. Uh, eh, blacksmith, no, not exactly what I was thinking. Come on, I was hoping for fields back here. Wouldn't that seem, like, logical to allow the player a field? You know what I'm saying? I think as long as we just don't expand out too much. Like, information is going to be our our guide from this point forward. Uh, no, still just archers. That's sad and unusual. See, to me, it would have been nice to nestle in a... Ooh, harbor. Okay, that was what I was looking for. Fantastic. Uh, four left. All right, I'm going to go spend these for a moment. All right, I think I'm going to try Berserks here. I have enjoyed the Flail people, but Berserks just seem kind of cool because they're the highest upgrade. So what are we even going against? This is some sort of paper airplane a Fury. Oh, we're dead. We're totally dead. Wish I had seen that before. But uh, I do have a bow. I am equipped with a bow, so that is the good news. Ah... Uh, all right, we need to make sure that this tower stays alive. And then where don't we have ranged things? What a waste for a night, man. Read the story, AA. Read the story. They say, oh, you're just hanging out and hitting him. Uncool. Oh, God. We're, that really does do a lot of damage. But at least we made it through. At least I'm safe inside my mind still. Night survived 100. 92% protected. I suppose it's time to invest in some fields. I do have the golem here. That is nice. Uh, you know, when they come from one side, you build your economy on the other, and then you defend it only when you have to. That way, I think that might be, like, the central strategy here. That's, like, the central banker's strategy in this fantastic game. Okay, we position you there. Mm, economical buildings. Let's go maybe on the north side, though, here. You see what I'm saying? Like, that's the strategy, man. You put in money-making fields over here, and then you... Wait, uh, no. May have to upgrade my main tower. I forgot to do the uh, level 1 upgrades so that I could keep getting houses every day. I will still do it. I still don't feel like it's that late, uh, but I forgot about that. I don't like the other upgrades enough to take one of them. Okay, so now we have only four left. Sad. We'll just buy some houses. There's a housing crisis. Oh, no. 
I've saved it by building houses. The housing crisis is over, everyone. Thank you. Ah. All right, that was god awful, but at, at least we delayed them, I suppose. We didn't really delay them by enough, though, to be totally honest. Like, they will kill the hero again. It would have been better if we had some flail people. <laughs> the greatest mistake of all was getting rid of the flail people. All right now, we just lead them on a wild goose chase. Who is around chasing geese? That the phrase wild goose chase had to become a thing. Like, was this common? I have no inclination to chase geese when I should see them on the street passing by. I let them go about their day normally. I say, goose, have a good day. I will pass. And that's because I'm more socially aware than the average person, you see. All right, 23 gold left. We have time. No, we don't have any time. Everything is awful. I think it's time to just get a lot of uh, pointy things around our base because I really can't tell where they're coming in now. 12 knights from over there. I say that we build a... Let's build a moat. <laughs> um, hmm. If other people are coming in from over there... You know, we've done that. That's about all I can do. I don't think I'm going to make it much better from here. So let's go ahead and just build out our economy. Economy. It's about economics, man. Okay, so we do these, get the level one fields. You know, the only thing that I, I think was a little odd about this game, at least in terms of calling it a city builder, because I feel like, you know, it would be fun if you had options. So I do feel as though there should be a mode, or maybe that'll be the trial mode. Or even if there isn't... All right, just take my suggestion, even if I haven't figured it out yet. Whoa, a wall that big is allowed? I will be back. Anyway, what about, like, a free build mode? Where you can select off... Oh, it could be a radial menu, that way you could convert it to console, because it does appear that this game is very console-friendly, and I imagine that is, like, a... Like, an important point here. Think about it. It could be a maze. Alright. I think here, our forces, our resources are best used for the, uh... Probably for the fiery flying things. Alright, let's get going. Defend the harbor. Oh god. They do have this kind of alien look about them. <laughs> Don't like that at all. I mean, they won't get the main base, but they will destroy every single economic structure over here. Not even worth it. These ships have probably stopped producing gold by now. I wonder how they're doing with the knights over there. Not good. Not good. These things deal hella damage, man. Look at that. Health bar, like, already just gone. Melted. Alright. The time has come. We must build a wall. Alright, here we are. We have one now at last, and we can protect our fields in our Ankana economy. Here we go. One, two. Uh, I think we've got a couple more areas where towers would be... It would be germane to build a tower, although unfortunately now we cannot see anywhere where we're supposed to build a tower. Um, I think maybe one more somewhere over here. Fine. Good enough. Uh, two more for a house. Maybe over here. A lovely place. The housing cri crisis has ended. All right, and now we will go ahead and just take these men and put them maybe like over here. I, again, I think a ranged unit would probably be the best start, but whatever. Too late now. Oh, well. We're going against, what are these, barrel knights? Some sort of, like, wooden knight. Ooh, look, all of the... Well, are they not being fought anywhere? No, the towers are hitting them over here. They are also hitting them over here. What a fantastic display of dominance. Uh, as it turns out, having the towers on the wall itself was to be germane. I mean, to be frank... Uh, useless. I've made it my aspiration for these videos to use the words germane and frank a lot more often. 
To sound sophisticated. Is it working? I feel like it must be. It must be. Honestly, Frank and Jermaine are both names. Actually, there was a guy named Jermaine who was the one who convinced me to make a YouTube channel in the first place. I do miss Jermaine, and I hope that he's doing well now. I haven't chatted with him in years. Alas. Alright, I'm going to take out the rest of the wave. My mind is wandering now. Alright, to be frank with you, I think it would be Jermaine to start the level now. Here we go, witches. Oh, flying on brooms and causing trouble! How does it the enemy variety is pretty good in this game, not gonna lie. Uh, ooh, they've destroyed the towers, though, at last. I do wish that those towers were slightly behind the wall. Like, what's the point of having a tower if it's just on the wall? But it is what it is. You can't have all the things that you want in life, and most of your dreams won't come true. Uh, so, on that note, how's your day going? Um, I think this is actually a pretty easy way. Aww. Again, with the ranged units, man. Uh, my depression grows that you are being... Oh, no, we're fine. We're good. Okay, let the wave begin. Uh, the flail people have returned in their glory. I have brought them back for your... Oh, my God, for your viewing pleasure. I do think we will probably lose a lot over here. I really can't even stick stick around for very long. So hopefully the flail people will come in. I would like to, however, see... Oh, God. What is going on over there? You know, having a bulbous kingdom is really the true goal of this game. So, after all, I, I just underbuilt everything. Although I think I'm probably most useful only against these strong enemies. So I think it was a total waste to build those berserkers. Uh, my AoE, to be frank with you, is not that good. It would have been Jermaine. <laughs> okay. No, I'm, I'm not even going to stop doing it. I'm just going to make it a new trope. <laughs> uh, I love it. Oh. <gasps> oh, I'm rich. Oh, yes. All right. Uh, let, we have witches and... What are these things again? Barrel knights. Yeah, that. All over the place. All right, 43, though. I feel as though we should be able to do something with that. Probably a wall would be the best upgrade from this point forward. I'm going to go handle that. 20. Um, castle cost of upgrades and walls. Ooh. Yes. Wait, what? what is it of? Oh, I didn't read it. It would be nice if I could see those upgrades. Ooh. No, I can't really see them summarized anywhere. But I guess I just, should just be assumed to know. I did that for the wall, though. I did it for the wall. Oh, that was very satisfying, I must say. All right, we will build one more. And then tally-ho, off we go. Uh, I will just let the flail people do what they will today. Very nice. I was thinking that this game is reminding me a little bit of... Uh, I guess not, like, to quite the extent that it's like they are billions, but diplomacy is not an option. Maybe it's just, like, the low poly and just the sheer number of units on screen at once. It is very nice, and I like it. And I did very much like that game as well. It was very fun. Oh, how dare you shoot fire into my base? God, we're not going to make any money this run because they just keep going over the walls, simply. What a waste. These witch people. Although it does kind of bring to mind, I've seen some of the other upgrades, like magical stuff. Could I potentially be a witch person riding around on a magical broom instead of the horse that I mount? Oh god, the barrel knights got in in the north. That is not good. Alright. Uh, we will probably lose a lot of buildings, but survive, I guess. I hope. At least we've got the central keep on them now. Okay, the next knight has arrived, and I've decided to just upgrade all of the archers and position them in the north. I don't know why I didn't use them before, but this was just so dumb of me. So here we go. Uh, should very easily one-shot them in this battle. Really missed that. Oh, God, that's really a lot up there. Get all of the small people. Just let them concentrate their fire on that stuff. This is like... 
a very powerful wave, I have just realized. But at least they're useless against enmassed troops, because they each just shoot out one large ball out of their mouth. Or whatever it is. Uh, liking the enemy variety, though, these have clearly been thought out very well, these waves. Just, like, like I said, like, still through and through, everything in this game is so perfectly balanced. It's great. Until I find something that isn't, of course. But, you know, it's still a good time. Okay, I gotta say that this next wave might be one of the worst, but it always gets very exciting at the end. It, it is a worthwhile conclusion, you always know in the last battle, you know. Here come the flail people, but this might be even too much for the flail people. I think I'll go for the witches in that- nope, this is not going to work at all, never mind. It's a good thing that they do let you move as a ghost, though, because... I could see situations where you could just get stuck somewhere and repeatedly die, especially if you have low health, you know? Oh no, they go after all the archers, and I am probably also dead myself. Okay, no, I got screwed over by the pikemen, and we may actually lose this one. Oh, that would be kind of good. I mean, not good, but cool to lose in the main game. Uh, without playing with any mutators. I had kind of thought that this game was a bit of a pushover, but no, so far this is actually getting pretty cool. Um, oh god, we really couldn't target any of the siege engines. I feel as though so much of this comes down to just being able to target specific units, because if these other units couldn't get in, they wouldn't have been able to just destroy my entire base, of course, as it stands. But they did, uh, and that is unfortunate. There we go. Okay. Okay, for the final level, we will probably die, because things just aren't going very well. But, uh, you know, we have maxed out the number of flail people, so in that I stand justified. And also, we've spread out our other troops all along the map. I do feel like it will be cool, even if we die, and it will have, it will have been worth the, you know, all the suffering that led up to it. So, let's go ahead and get started. With one gold left to spare. Unfortunately, can't even really use that on a field. Uh, and I, I'm i gonna just go ahead and say I'm utterly useless in this fight. I guess I should concentrate on one area, though. I'd probably just be better off taking their fire and preventing them from attacking other areas sooner. Especially in the middle here, so that we can concentrate on the north and south. But I think it would be kind of sweet if there were some sort of... I don't know, like, way to just make yourself over the battle and just give everyone a generalized bonus rather than actually having to be in it, because sometimes I just kind of want to spectate, and it is cool, but... Oh god, we are all losing horribly. But it's great, though. It, it actually does make for a pretty tense moment in these final sieges. And I think we did do okay here. If we, yeah, I was right. We had to get rid of those flying assault things. What are those called again? Uh, Fury. Furies, I believe. Not furries. Furies. <laughs> we must slay the fear the furries. <laughs> They're causing too much damage. Fortunately, the archers stayed alive for these fights, man. Those battering rams are just going to be useless from here on forward. Alright, I think we did decent on the middle ones, but... Oh, wow, we may actually survive this. We won't score very many points, but we did it. Oh, wow. Wow, that's very exciting. Let's just check the front and make sure. Wow, very exciting. Actually, very cool. That looks like the last one. Okay, and that was, yeah, victory. I mean, we lost our entire city every single... Time. I, we probably get a horrible score there, but 4,300. Yeah, that's not a very high score. Um, But new record because we hadn't beaten it at all. So, not bad. Lightning Staff. Okay, so cool. The, the quest continues into magical powers. Very nice, very nice. More harbor options. Liking this game a lot. Um, I guess I will save something else for the end. I just want to examine this, though. Uh... Eternal Trials, so this is... Oh, kind of like pre-picked perks. I guess that could be an opportunity for like a daily run kind of thing. Stage 1 current loadout. 
Let's just see what this is. So more or less, ooh, rainwater. Very cool and different. All right, I, I do not know what Trials is, but I will have to examine this later because I feel like that this has actually been a pretty good overview of this game. I'm just gonna head it back out to map. I do like this game right now. Like I said, it does appear to be a little bit light on content, but it is in early access. And like they said, you know, basically they got their premise and now they're working on it, it seems like. Uh, and it is a great premise. All the reviews are very, very positive. The game feels very polished. It feels very much like an end product, but just kind of a like an open question to players like, should we add more to this? I feel at least when I see something like that. And I think that the answer is absolutely yes. It's a very cool game. Anyway, Thronefall. Uh, anyway, I do hope that this video helped you discover it if you did not. Um, Anyway, I think that's about it. I've been not streaming as much lately just because my internet has been weird, but... Uh, yeah, anyway, I've been filming these on the side when I can, so hope you enjoyed uh, and got something out of this. Alright, take care for now.